Hey, what's up guys? It's Coach Ben from Soccer Entrepreneur. In today's video, I'm going to be addressing a question that I've been getting from a lot of trainers. And I'm surprised I haven't made a video about this yet. Uh, but the question that I've been getting is, how long should my sessions be? And how should I structure and put together a program? So I'm going to give you my example um, of how I used to do it and how I do it now. Um, and I'm also going to show you examples of how other people do it. And really before I get started talking, everything comes down to, to you and how you want to train players and whatever you find that's most effective. Because everyone out there is different. Some people like having really long sessions. Some people don't. And... I'm going to show you how I do it, which I feel like is a very efficient way. Um, and when I first started, the way I did my sessions were not efficient at all. Um, and I'll kind of dig into that. So I'm going to kind of address the question now. And I want you to ask yourself a couple questions, though. And if you're training players privately or in groups, <clears throat> I look at it very differently. If you're training or just one-on-one -on -one session, you're just working with one player. So depending on the age of that player, you have to figure out what is the mental capacity of that player that you're training. Are they going to be able to be with you for longer than an hour? If so, you know, how long do you want to train? And I never f ever tell anyone that they have to base their price on how long they're training players. Uh, because when you do that, everyone's going to look at you as you know, by the hour or how much do you train or charge per session. And I don't like that concept at all because then it puts you inside of a box that you can't get out of. Um, and people won't value your time as much when you do it that way than if you do it the way that I'm about to show you. So when you think about yourself, how long do you want to train? And you have to make that decision first. Um, do you want to train 90 minutes? Do you want to train an hour? Or do you want to train 45 minutes? Um, do you want to do 30 minute sessions? I know a lot of people out there that do 30 minute group sessions. Um, and this is something that I know you can pull off in your academy if you have the right type of programs set up. So let's kind of think forward now. What do you want to do? So with your program, do you want to provide skills training, you know, finishing training? I, I have to figure out you know, where you're at with what type of program you want to offer. And there's a million programs that you could offer. You could just offer um, foot skills programs. You could just do conditioning programs. I mean, it really doesn't matter what the program is, but the program has to be good and it has to benefit the players. And then you can start to figure out how long each session should be. So the way I like to do it, is very opposite how I did it when I first started. When I started, I did 90 minute sessions. Um, and if you think about the, the amount of time during the day when you can train players, especially during the school year, the longer the session you have, the less players you can train. Um, because even if you have a lighted facility, you're not gonna be able to train as many players. So for example, if I started my training after school at four o'clock, if I have three kids I'm training privately and they're all 90 minute sessions, I'm gonna be working an hour and a half, an hour and a half, and an hour and a half. Um, and so that's gonna to total four and a half hours of training. When I could you know, work the same amount of training um, and try to work with four or four players and then maybe an extra 30 minute session. So that's what comes down to how effective you are with your time um, but if you want to do hour and a half sessions that's what I did at the beginning that worked very well for me but I realized that we could start to shorten the amount of our sessions and have more intense sessions and that's the thing that I realized that club soccer kind of struggles with is they have an hour and a half or two hour sessions but if you sit there and you watch a, a club session, even some of the top clubs, you will see this, that the entire time players aren't moving. They're not with the ball. They're, there's a lot of dead time. There's a lot of time where they're getting water. Their warm up is 15, 20 minutes. Um, and I, I think that a lot of those sessions, 
the the time could be way more efficient. It could be maximized much better. Um, and when you're training players privately, this is something you have to really think about because you could take on a lot more players if your sessions are shorter. And your sessions could be a much more effective. You could get better results if they're shorter, um, where there's more going on within the session. Rather than giving longer breaks, having a super long warm up. Um, I mean, I could think of a lot of things that waste time throughout the session um, that you could, you know, just minimize a lot of that and have a shorter session. Um, this way, the player actually gets better results. And that's what I found once I started to test different time amounts, um, especially with different types of players. I realized that the sweet spot for me was having sessions for 50 minutes. So five, zero, 50 minutes. And the reason why I did that is because I want to start all my sessions on the hour and end all my sessions on the hour. And this gives me a 10 minute cushion to chat with the player or the parents after the session. So I can address any questions that they have. Um, I don't feel like I'm rushed because 10 minutes is a long time to, to chat with parents about any, anything that comes up. Um, and that's not going to cut into my next session. And knowing that, that also gives me a couple minutes to prepare uh, and move around cones or do whatever I need to to get ready for the next session um, that's that very next hour. This way, you can look at every single hour that you train as a session. Um, and we've tested things uh, with clinics, and I'm not going to talk too much about clinics right now, but we've done things where they're an hour clinic or two hour clinics or 90 minute clinics. Um, and I'm a big believer that if players can get the same result faster, then you need to do that because if you're having a longer drawn out session, that's not, in, in my opinion, that's not really going to be the thing that's going to be that helpful for the players. Um, they're already kind of experiencing that with whatever team they play. They're, they're having longer sessions. Um, and I would rather train someone and have them in a shorter session and get better results, maximize the time. Um, this way they feel like they're getting pretty much a non-stop workout for 50 minutes. Um, and that's how we like to structure things. Everyone's different though, but I want you to start to think about that coming up with your academy, with how you want to structure your time. Because if you look at everything at the end of the day, time is the most important asset that you're going to have with your business. Um, and if you don't have enough time to take on more players, then you probably need to restructure the way that you think about how long your sessions are. So that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, click the thumbs up button. Um, let me know if you have any questions. So shoot me a, a comment below this video. Um, let me know any questions you have. If you want my personal email address, just go to startyoursoccercademy at gmail.com. Below this video in the description, I have all the resources that are kind of already set up. So if you want to join my newsletter, it's free. Um, I send pretty much one to two newsletters per week that are going to give you more valuable tips on how to start your academy. Um, and if you want to check out my book, it's called The Startup Soccer Academy. This is a book that's been read by a few hundred trainers now. Uh, it's going to show you from A to Z how to set up your academy the right way, um, the way that I didn't know how to do at the beginning. But now once I kind of cracked the code and I figure out how to do this, um, I wanted to create a book. Um, that's a great resource. We also have our Soccer Academy Mastermind, uh, where I work with four coaches per year on a monthly basis. Um, and I also have the one-on-one -on -one business retreat um, for trainers to fly down or to drive down to San Antonio, Texas to meet with me personally. Um, if you're interested in that, uh, you can check out all the links below this video. And I'll see you next time.